The news is Will Smith has submitted another apology letter to Chris Rock and also the Academy, but that was also added to a resignation letter from said Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences, of course, the Oscar. So this resignation letter, I'll read a little bit of it here. He says, the list of those I've heard is long and it includes Chris, his family, many of my dear friends and loved ones, all of those in attendance and global audiences at home. I betrayed the trust of the Academy. I deprived other nominees and winners of their opportunity to celebrate and be celebrated for their extraordinary work. I am heartbroken. Because in case you missed it, Will Smith went up on stage, slapped Chris Rock, sat back down, laughed a bit more about it, went to after parties, danced and laughed more there. People consoled Will Smith. Chris Rock hasn't said much except for a few lines and a couple of pop up comedy things. That's where we stand. Everyone has an opinion. There's about a million and five memes about this, but now he's now resigned and he's heartbroken. Um, I guess I want to get y'all's thoughts. Uh, is this a move that's going to help either his image from the folks that are now upset with him, or will it hurt his image with those that were happy with him? Because now they're thinking he's taken away some of his own opportunities and his own standing. Um, I'll I'll just say that I don't think Will Smith needed to do this. I think uh, you can like there was this problem when this started out where everyone had to kind of choose sides, and it was like, hey, are you Team Chris or are you Team Will? And I thought that was really weird because like I was like, two things could be bad at once. It's it's wrong to insult someone for a medical condition or a family member for a medical condition. Also wrong to choose violence when someone makes a joke. But either way, it was a slap. It wasn't like you know uh, the most violent thing you see on television by any like account. It was just a slap. Someone slaps someone else, and if people need to quit the academy because of actions they've done at the Academy. Well, uh, I will remind everyone that Roman Polanski did win an Academy Award after he had been uh, convicted of uh, drugging and raping a 13 year old. And at that award show where he couldn't show up to accept the award, Adrian Brody walked up and assaulted Ali Berry uh, by kissing her without her consent. So it's not like, and none of this has ever happened. No one has like, you know, used something like this as a provocation to be like, I am now, you know, I have to leave. Uh, I've committed the, the greatest, like Harvey Weinstein has over 80 the Academy oh Awards still, mm -hmm. I think still considered part of the Academy. So what are we doing here? That's why I'm like this whole thing is so ridiculous. Like, yes, it was a slap. Yes, don't choose violence, but like that that that's all it was. I don't know. Yeah. Um I, you're not gonna catch me defending multimillionaires. I don't I'm sorry. I I'm not I'm not rooting, you're not making me pick sides. I'm not rooting for people who have so much money that I couldn't even conceive of it. Um, I think it's funny when bad things happen to celebrities regardless of who they are. I don't know, I laughed when he got slapped. I think it's now you know, uh, kind of funny that something bad's happened to Will Smith too. I don't care, I'm not gonna defend, I'm not gonna defend someone who has like more money than I will ever see in multiple lifetimes. Well, that's I'm, the thing, I'm, I just, I'm just not gonna do it. <laughs> yeah, and the thing is, I'm not deep into the uh, Academy game or the filmmaking game. I wish we had maybe someone who's, uh, maybe you guys do know. Cuz again, the, the ins and outs and the back and forths about how all this work, I'm not privy to, I don't make movies. So even him resigning from the Academy of, of Motion Arts and Pictures and Societies and Letters, um, what does that really do though? Like, is it, what does he so, lose? Does he never get to be nominated again? Does he never get to be a part of no, it? He can't show no, up. No, so a lot of Right, so a lot of people who are nominated aren't even part of that association. It means that he's no longer allowed to vote and participate in the voting process and not be included in that anymore. I don't think it blacklists him from ever being nominated for another award. And if so, again, that would be a weird precedent because again, there's a lot of other people who have done much worse things in the history of the Academy. And and like there's, there's a countless and endless string of stories that involve people Committing either, you know, acts egregiously that are happening behind the scenes, and they still win awards, or even like I said, things that were just what are considered like socially acceptable now. Like I'm sure everyone saw Jim Carrey was beside himself, and was just like, oh, how could anyone have done this? This is I would sue him for two hundred thousand dollars. And then boom, internet immediately was like, at the MTV Music Awards, you assaulted Alicia Silverstone by grabbing her face and making out with her. You also tried to tongue Will Smith, Jim Carrey. That was another thing you did. You like grabbed Jim. Uh, Will Smith by the head and was like, Bleh. so like, I, I don't know. I, I I think it's one of those things where people are are really aghast and saying that's like, what what did someone say on Twitter? Was the the nine eleven of this generation? Uh, <laughs> well, I mean, there was also John Wayne tried to uh, assault an indigenous woman who ha just had yeah. the the absolute gall, Feathers. the the nerve to say that. Um, representations of indigenous people in media are harmful. Yeah. And they literally had to hold, like, multiple security guards had to hold them back from assaulting a woman. And this happened during the award show. Sure, it was off stage, but 
the, I mean, the security guards were hired by the academy and they were involved in that. Everyone knew what happened. There were no repercussions then. And I mean, sure, this is not necessarily like he's decided to resign. Again, I don't care. I really don't care about rich people giving each other awards for, you know, making movies. But I mean, that happened there. If because if their excuse is they're investigating this because, uh, you know, as opposed to heinous things people have done outside of the award show, that happened there. And what what was their response? The host continued to, you know, make jokes about her and insult her. And and then there was no repercussions. So I just I don't know. I don't I don't root for rich people. I don't root for this, celebrities. I don't. Yeah, I do think this is the thing though. And my last thought on this, I do think this is the thing when it comes to we've progressed throughout society. So all of those past instances of people doing things on stage, those are at least direct hypocritical moments where for some reason they either thought this was fine or they thought I'm not gonna get any trouble for it. But maybe this is the one moment as we've crossed over because there's always some moment when we crossed over from we used to accept that kind of talk. People used to have blatantly outwardly horrifically homophobic things they'd say about people. Let's say that as an example. And now if you hear someone saying those things, you might go, whoa, bro. Calm down. And maybe in 1984, they didn't as much, you know? So now we've gotten to this point, and maybe again, maybe it's because of how many hot takes there have been online that I'm sure many of these celebrities read. They go, man, I really have to be careful about the things I do and I say on stage, especially when there's tens and hundreds of millions of people watching across the world. I could end up losing my career over it. I need to toe this line. And that's just the pressure that comes with some consequences for being in the in the spotlight. And again, as you mentioned, Ravana, making all that money, because as much as you don't care about how much they make or because of how much they make, they do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so they're definitely trying to protect that. And this could be just one aspect of it and we'll see if it works out for him. Uh, but yeah, and when it comes to, we've, we've progressed really. And now that stuff isn't as, isn't as acceptable anymore. And maybe those folks who did commit those atrocities before do need to maybe um, not have as much to say and let folks who have always seen that as an issue be the ones to talk about this. We'll see, um, I, I think he's gonna, end up being fine. As soon as people like the next movie that comes out, 35% of people say, I'm not watching that Will Smith movie until the other 65% <laughs> say it was great. Then another 25% of that 35 will then watch it. I mean, that's just my speculation. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun, but you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.